everybody. I'm out here digging. I uh, got off work a little early. I mean, the sun's already setting, but I've been out here swinging a little bit and haven't found too much, a lot of trash, but I did just find a little coin spill, two quarters and a memorial scent. But uh, I got something here to show you. It came out from down there, and when I pulled the plug out, it fell out. And if you look right there, this honestly might be one of the coolest things I have ever found metal detecting. If you look right there, that says Henry Dolan RR, which stands for railroad, I'm assuming, number three. It's thick, rang up great, of course. I mean, I'm guessing that must be some sort of railroad tag that maybe he was an engineer or something on the train or a worker but i mean that's got a name right there to find something that's railroad related and that personal with someone's name i mean that's that's got to be one of my favorite things i've ever found detecting at this point so this video probably i'm not going to find enough tonight to post this but uh, this will get tied into another video most likely But hopefully by the time I do do the video I can do some research and maybe learn a little bit to tell you guys about this person So until then I'm gonna Get back at it and scour this area pretty close and see if I can find anything else related to this Well, I'm still out here digging This is literally the next target after that other and that looks to me like a spoon or fork. Oh, it feels like it might be whole actually, just bent over. Let's see here. Oh, yep. Looky there. That's an oldie. Looks like the bowl's busted a little. Unless I just broke it. No. I don't think so. There we go. That's a old silver plated spoon. I would definitely say that is time period related to that tag. Heck yeah. Maybe I've overlooked this spot and maybe there's going to be some killer stuff here. Can't beat that. We'll keep a look in it, see what else we can find. How's it going everybody? I'm out here doing a little detecting after work today again. Not really a too fancy of a find, but it's kind of a weird but interesting find. I'll uh, flip this camera around and show you. So, I'm going to mark out the address and the phone number, but you can see if I can get this to focus you can see right there the name was Fluffy and there was a little bell that I was picking up the signal of and there was the collar so I looked up the address and it's not far from me so hopefully it was just their uh, little cat or dog got out and lost its collar and didn't uh, get eaten or or die. But uh, yeah, I thought that was kind of an interesting little find. And the only other thing I've found so far is a key, of course, other than modern trash. But uh, yeah, I thought that was kind of interesting. So. Thought I'd show y'all and I guess I'll get back to hunting and see if I can find something really cool to show you. How's it going everybody? Well, I'm down here doing a little digging today. You can see I got a couple bottles exposed coming out the side there. I've already found a couple little music reeds. So let's uh Let's pull these couple bottles here and see what they are. See if they're whole or 
or what? Okay, so there that's a screw top slick. Same as this one, screw nah, it says something. It's another one of them Raleigh's, so both screw tops though, so nothing I'm gonna hang on to, but at least that's a start. We'll uh keep going and see what else we can find. Well, you can see I got a bottle coming out there. Don't know what it's gonna be, but I see another music reed coming out right there. So that's the third one of those already. So there's definitely some of them in here. Let's see if I can work this bottle out while I've got it going. I doubt it. Let me uh, pause this and I'll see what it is. Well, just another screw top slick, so we'll keep it going. All right, so I've already dug up an entire pile of little reed, music reeds and a gear. And then as I come back down in here, you can see there's one here, 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 here. There's a cork neck bottle sticking out here. So there's one. There's two. Nope, there's another one. There's three. There's four. Five. I mean, five of them boogers right there and a cork top right there, which it feels like it's busted. Yeah, it was busted, unfortunately. But yeah, five reeds right there. So maybe this little corner is going to get interesting. I'll keep digging around and see what else I can find. Well, unfortunately, it does have some cracks in the back side of it, but I did just pull this awesome little cork top flask out that's only the second complete one I found out here I found three total one of which was really busted we'll see if this one holds up but that's pretty darn neat I see something else back in there so I'll keep digging see if it's worth showing all right so I'm down here doing some digging everything has come out broke so far I mean everything except I see right there I didn't even notice that when I started recording but there's another music read and then three foot away from where I found that whiskey jug last week, I'm almost 100% dead certain that is the handle for it. If that's the case, that is absolutely phenomenal. That means I will have a complete jug. So I'll keep digging and uh, hopefully I can find something else cool to show you. And I'll do a wrap up and we'll see if it fits. All right, well, I don't have high hopes for this because everything in here is busted, but... It looks like it's got a little hoop handle on it, and if that's on there, maybe it'll be whole. Let's see. Come on, baby. Uh, looks like it's got a little bitty lip chip. But it looks cork top. It's uh, got a hoop handle on it. Kind of looks like a grenade, honestly. I'm not real sure. Okay, so there was a little pour spout on it, looks like. And that little pour spout's chipped. Okay. Apple Pie Ridge. Pure apple cider vinegar. Huh. Well, that's kind of neat. I wish that little chip wasn't there, but. But that's a, a pretty interesting looking little deal. I might hang on to that. We'll see. We'll keep it digging away and see what else we can find. Well, I could tell this is going to be a screw top, so I didn't think about recording it. But. 
It's it's a screw top, like whiskey flask or something. But it says I W Harper. So that's actually you know federal law forbids you know the reuse of this bottle. But that is some pretty neat embossing on it. So I might hang on to that. We'll keep going and see what else we can find. Well, looks like we got us a little cork top ink or shoe polish coming out right here. You can see where it's been sitting for 90 to 100 years. And that's exactly what it is. A little shoe polish or ink. Found a bunch of those in here. Seems like I'm running out of my rust layer back here, so I'm going to try to collapse in this wall over to that side. So we'll keep looking and see what else we can find. Well, I got a little cork top sticking out here. It's slick, of course. But it's whole. And it is a cork top, so that's pretty neat. We'll keep a look and see what else we can find. Well, I wasn't really sure what this was going to be coming out, but it looks like a little headless, little headless porcelain figurine. That's pretty neat. Maybe I'll get lucky and find the head like I found that handle to that jug. We'll see. Well, I have pulled out a whole pile. You can see them in that shade, but a whole pile of them reeds. I mean, they're just everywhere. All around this blue bottle here. See if it's ready to come out. There we go. Make sure there ain't no reeds in that. Oh, there's one right there. A little short one. Is it gonna be? Yep. All right, that's the second one out here of a Merrill's Milk of Magnesia. Excellent. We will definitely take that. No chips, no cracks, it is whole. That's a cool one. Anything blue and embossed is cool in my book, so we'll keep it digging back in here and see what else we can find. Well, this just come rolling out. You can see there's a little bottle there, music read there. But uh, this just came rolling out, and I was like, well. You know, it's just a rock, but the thing is, all the rocks in here are rough and jagged. And this thing is really smooth. And it almost looks like it's clear colored, so... I'm going to pause this and wash this up. And we'll see if we can figure out what it is. Well, looks like it turns out to be a big old piece of, like, river-worn quartz. I mean, it's definitely... Definitely quartz and really smooth. Definitely not uh, natural. So someone had them a rock and threw it in the dump, I guess. It's pretty neat though. We'll see what else we can find. How's it going everybody? Here's a wrap up for everything from this week so far. And figured I'd go through everything and show you. Here was uh Here's what I found detecting the other day. There was the spoon, the key, animal tag, and the, the really neat railroad tag. Uh, did some bottle digging, I guess yesterday, and I found all this. Bunch of music reeds, little gear, some sort of little decorative brass, uh, some mason jar, zinc, you know, inserts little blue bottle, found this little cork top, and then today, had a pretty good day, found some neat things, a bunch of mason jars, a ton more music reeds, I'm thinking it was like an accordion, and that was some of the outsides of it, shotgun shell, found this, you know, real interesting creek-worn quartz rock in there that definitely wasn't natural, this little doll it says made in Japan C285. This little piece of glass that is really smooth. 
almost looked like it was creek horn. So I'm wondering if whoever picked that rock up maybe used to walk the creeks exploring like we do nowadays. But this was a uh, Mrs. Stewart's Bluing. Found this whiskey that's a IW Harper. Unfortunately, this is missing the little pour part, but this was a uh, vinegar bottle. Pine X, big cork top slick, nice Merrill's Milk of Magnesia, ink, and whatever this little interesting shape bottle was. But probably, honestly, my favorite thing today is three foot away from where I found that, that whiskey jug, I somehow got lucky enough to find the exact handle for it that fits back perfect so i now have a complete original whiskey jug and i am completely ecstatic about that so hopefully i might do get out and do some more tomorrow but this will all probably go on a longer video so uh until then i uh, wish you all well and good luck out there and hopefully i can get out there and find some more stuff to show you